In this question, we're given a diagram which shows triangle A drawn on a grid. We're told that Kyle reflects triangle A in the x-axis to get triangle B. He then reflects triangle B in the line y equals x to get triangle C. Amy then reflects triangle A in the line y equals x to get triangle D. She is then going to reflect triangle D in the x-axis to get triangle E. Amy says that triangle E should be in the same position as triangle C and we need to prove whether or not this is correct. And so we can start by reflecting triangle A in the x-axis, which is the first thing that Kyle does. We'll label the three points on triangle A 1, 2 and 3. So let's reflect each point separately. Looking at point 1, we can see that it's exactly one square above the x-axis. So now its reflection will be one square below the x-axis. We can do the same thing for point 2. Point 2 is 3 squares above the x-axis, so looking for 3 squares below, we'll get the point right here. Finally, we have point 3. Point 3 is 3 squares above the x-axis at the point x equals 3. So let's do the same thing on the other side and go 3 squares below. And we'll label this point 3. We can now join these dots together. We can call this triangle, triangle B, and this is a reflection of triangle A, in the x-axis. Now we need to reflect triangle B in the line y equals x, so let's start by drawing the line y equals x on our diagram. So now looking at triangle B, we can apply the same principle of how we reflected triangle A in order to reflect triangle B. So we'll look at the diagonal line to get from point 1 to the line y equals x. So we can see that it travelled one diagonal, two diagonal, two and a half diagonals. So we can do the same thing now on the other side of the line y equals x. Half, and then another one, and then another one. So point 1 can be found at the point minus 1, 4. Now let's do the same for point 2. Following the diagonal we have 1, 2, 3, 3 and a half. And so doing the same thing on the other side, we have half, and 1, 2, and 3. So we'll say that point 2 is up here, and then doing the same thing for point 3, we have 1, 2, 3 complete diagonals, so the same thing on the other side, 1, 2, and 3. So we'll label this point 3, and now we can join the dots together again. So now let's label this new triangle C. Now let's do the reflections that Amy did. Amy reflected triangle A in the line y equals x to get triangle D. So let's do that now. Well, the point 3 on triangle A is already on y equals x, so we can leave this as it is. Now let's look at point 2. So for point 2 to get to y equals x, we travel half a diagonal, and we can do the same thing again on the other side. And so point 2 will be over here. So now looking at point 1, we can see that it travelled one and a half diagonals to get to the line y equals x. So we can do the same thing on the other side. And point 1 is over here. So now joining the dots up, and we'll label this triangle, triangle D. Amy then reflects triangle D in the x-axis to get triangle E. So now to reflect triangle D in the x-axis, we can see that point 1 is 4 squares above the x-axis at the point x equals 1. So doing the same on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, and here we have point 1. And then for point 2, we're also 4 squares above the x-axis at the point x equals 3. So to do the same on the other side, we can see that point 2 is at the point 3 minus 4. And then finally, point 3 in the x-axis, it's 3 squares above the x-axis at the point x equals 3. So to reflect this, we have at the point 3 minus 3, and we'll label this point 3, and to join these dots together, we'll end up with triangle E. So now in order to make this diagram a little bit clearer, we'll get rid of all the dotted lines, so we can see exactly where the triangles are. Now that we've removed the dotted lines, we can clearly see triangles A, B, C, D and E. And now the question asks whether or not Amy is correct. Amy says that triangle E should be in the same position as triangle C. So looking at triangle E and triangle C, we can see that they're not in the same position, and so we can say that Amy is incorrect. 
so we'll write this down in our answer box below. This question is worth three marks, so let's take a look at where these marks are allocated. The first mark is for the correct position of triangle C or triangle E, which we've shown in our diagram. The second mark is for a correct position of triangle B or triangle D, which we've also shown in our diagram. And the third and final mark is for a conclusive statement saying that Amy is not correct with the correct supporting evidence. And our evidence is that triangle E and triangle C are in different positions as shown in our drawings on the diagram.